what you would advise especially if you work in multicultural uh, environment what you would advise to project sponsors and not let's say across the team how to approach these cultural differences how for example someone from uh, finland works with in a team like you had for example in, from mm. india from poland and czech republic mm, what, yes. what you would what you would uh, advise to everyone in these in these countries how to overcome these subtle differences in uh, in communication studies simply I mean, there's uh, the the uh, internet and so on are full of uh, uh, studies of, uh, of uh, leading multicultural teams. Uh, full of lots of books about the topics, uh, or you can even when you are uh, uh, dropped into a new project and and you map out that okay, there's people from different kind of cultures. You know, you can already kind of do a bit of background uh, studies about how how do they like to work. But even more importantly, I find because we are still all individuals. So whenever you have a new group of uh, stakeholders and 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 uh, and uh, team members in a project, why not just start out the first meeting uh, um, with something fun that ask everybody uh, to to put on a PowerPoint slide or something if you have to do it virtually as we normally would nowadays anyway, um, uh, but on a PowerPoint slide some uh, some pictures uh, of of themselves or or, or the, no, the history to, to open up a discussion that okay so who put this picture here who is this you know and then they can tell a bit about themselves but also or, or perhaps about the culture and and uh, you can agree uh, in the beginning of the project uh, jointly that okay we've now agreed these and these kind of uh, timetables because uh, uh, when we have meetings because India is that and that many hours behind or so on or uh, Okay, can we agree as a team that uh, uh, because in that country and that country there's a public holiday then, so we mm. would uh, do certain things on another day, you know? So um, uh, kind of taking into account these kind of things, but jointly just discussing it, and and um, uh, more importantly as well, including in each meeting something nice to ask somebody mm. that hey, uh, I heard that you're having this week uh, some sort of a celebration week out there in India that uh, what, what's that about so a, a little bit of soft openings in the meetings and you always learn a bit more and and suddenly it, it just gets much smoother and and the communication no matter what kind of a, uh, cultural backgrounds they are it gets more relaxed and you you get to tune into each other's uh, 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 ways of uh, of dealing with things better, especially in these kind of remote um, uh, teams. Mm -hmm.